Good morning and welcome to the third day of my bike trip along the Peter River. And let's not waste any time here. As you can see, I'm being swamped by the mosquitoes. So I'm just gonna pack up the last stuff I have and hit the road. It looks like I've been able to shake off the mosquitoes. So the first order of business now is to find some sort of creek since I'm basically all out of water as usual in the morning. I know it's wrong to start the day off with ice cream right away in the morning <laughs> but when you're on a bike tour and it's as hot as it is right now you can certainly allow yourself to eat one. It's already hotter than it was all day yesterday and it's supposed to be around 30 degrees in the afternoon here so I'm gonna take every chance I can get to cool myself down a bit. And no bike tour here in Sweden is complete with a little cheese on a tube. <laughs> Just ran into this little guy here. <laughs> this is the only venomous snake we have here in Sweden. It's called the European Viper. We also have another snake called Snook, but that one's not poisonous. 
And the European Viper is also so rare that it's protected by the state. So I was really lucky to run into one here. I don't think I've ever seen a Viper before here in Sweden. I've seen a lot of those other ones called Snoop, they're pretty common here. But a Viper, that's really rare to come upon. Supermarket up ahead. Looks like the second ice cream break for today. It is super hot today. My Garmin said that it was 28 degrees right now in the shade. So I'm really deserving of another ice cream and I also bought uh, mineral water. I've been drinking water basically all day and uh, I felt like I wanted to spoil myself with some flavored ice cold water. <laughs> so basically I have around 20-25 kilometers or so before I'm in Piteå which is the goal of this whole bike tour. And mostly it's downhill, so I probably have some smooth sailing ahead of me here. And when I arrive in Piteå, I'm gonna try to take a bus to Skellefteå. And that's about an hour's bus ride away. I've cycled between Piteå and Skellefteå so many times before, so I'm quite fed up with that route anyway. So I'm just gonna try to see if I can get the bike onto the bus and have a nice bus ride home again. Okay, so I just checked the timetable for the bus and there's one bus leaving in about 35 minutes and I have 8 kilometers left to go until I'm in Piteå, so I'm gonna make a run for it. Fingers crossed. Crossing the Pete the River now for the last time.
<laughs> so I just made it on to the bus in time and I was lucky enough to be able to put my bike in the back where they have some sort of storage area and the driver was nice enough to make sure that the bike was secured and tightened against the wall so that it won't fall down during the ride back to Schlefto. And before I leave you and thank you for coming along on this journey, I'd love to hear about your touring plans for the upcoming summer. Or maybe you've already been on your first bike tour. Please let me know in the comment section below and I'll look forward to reading all about your touring plans. Otherwise, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>